Hello and welcome to our Catalyst Customer Discovery Workshop for 2020. We hope that this will help you to strengthen your Catalyst grant application. First, I just want to briefly introduce our team. You have some members joining today on some of your calls with the UWM Research Foundation, as well as the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center. Myself, I am Jessica Silvaggi, Director of Technology Commercialization. You'll hear more from Brian Thompson, the President of the Research Foundation and Director of the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center. Some of my colleagues, Smirti and Aaron, as well as Ilya Avdiv, Director of Innovation, who helps run the i program in Milwaukee, as well as Lauren Peterson, entrepreneur in residence at the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center. We're pleased that your proposal has going on to the next round. But as you know, the Catalyst grant is meant for research with commercial potential. In the past 14 years, we've funded 93 projects with $5 million. $20 million has been obtained in follow-on funding, and 11 of the projects have related startup companies. Our goal is to train you a bit today to do more with customer discovery, which stems from the i program. The i or Innovation Core program began with the National Science Foundation, but has since grown to many of the different agencies of the government. And there are quite a number of smaller nodes across the country, with Milwaukee being one of them. Many projects with commercial potential end up getting stuck in that valley of death with a lack of funding. Earlier on, the NSF i is positioned to help in the ditch of death, a time when serious funding is needed to push the technology forward. The Milwaukee i site is made up of several institutions, including Concordia, MSOE, Marquette, Medical College of Wisconsin, and UWM. The goal of i is to teach the lean launch method. This allows you to explore your idea before a major investment and truly figure out if customers may be interested in your product. A number of teams have gone through our local i program and continued on to the national program. We've had around 22 companies form with almost $4 million raised in addition by these teams, and quite a number of teams have been trained. Next, we'd like to introduce you to how to do customer discovery. In the Lean Launch method, we utilize the business model canvas, and this is a way to sketch out your business plan in a simple fashion. You then iterate on that business model and test it by doing customer discovery to get to your minimum viable product. Our team heavily utilizes the business model canvas when talking to innovators about their ideas. One of the key steps is figuring out your value proposition. We'll talk about that in our 30 minute meeting. You really need to know what value your technology has to offer to potential customers. When we meet, we'll want to talk about your value proposition of the technology in your Catalyst grant proposal. Think about what is your value proposition? What do you have to offer to that customer segment? For instance, look at this slide. Might you have better health, a lower cost, some sort of other competitive advantage, and so on? And how would you relay that information to your potential customer? We use the business model canvas to frame that process. We usually start with the value proposition in the center and the customer segments on the right. The connection between those two we sometimes refer to as the product market fit or the problem solution fit. That's usually the place to start with the canvas and eventually though we'll need to investigate the other elements of the business model. For those who are familiar with market research, we often think in terms of primary market research and secondary market research. Secondary market research is looking at broad market information, might use tools like Reference USA. Primary research is thought of as direct customer interaction, and customer discovery fits into this category. Techniques for primary market research might include surveys, which could be telephone or internet or in person, customer interviews, 
focus groups are traditionally thought of as primary research, and a variety of other tools. Customer discovery really fits into the customer interview part of the process. But in Lean Launch, we provide a very specific set of ways to go about this process. The context around technology adoption is that technology adoption follows a curve where there are innovators and early adopters before we move to a phase of the early majority, late majority, and eventually the laggards. And there's been a lot of great work done on crossing the chasm or bridging the gap between the early adopters and the early majority, including Jeffrey Moore's book on crossing the chasm. The problem with that framework is that most startups don't survive to get to the majority phase. And Steve Blank did a lot of work looking at how do you optimize a process for things at the early stage. That's what this customer discovery and the lean launch process is about. So customer development or customer discovery fits in at the early stages of an idea. We start with customer discovery and validation, and we pivot when we find that the ideas that we may have assumed were incorrect. Only after we think we've found a scalable model do we move on to customer creation and building a company. So the lean launch process and customer discovery is focused on search. We move to the execution stage later. In customer discovery, we want to be as explicit as possible about testing specific hypotheses, verifying those hypotheses or invalidating them, and using that information to drive product requirements or the minimum viable product. Customer discovery sounds a little daunting, but it actually is easier than you might think. People like to be asked for their advice. And if you go to someone and ask for their advice, rather than trying to sell them something, they're often willing to help. And there are tricks in customer discovery that make people more willing to talk to you. For example, if you're a student, people often want to help out college students. And there are other ways to get people to help you by breaking down the barriers that might normally exist.